Seven years ago, a software called Gaia, which is an environment creation engine, was created to make the best natural environments and all types of terrains. But now the team behind it rewrote it from scratch to make it even better. I'm talking about Gaia 2, which is not out yet, because it's gonna be released in Q1 of 2024. The company behind this said that they have re-examined the terrain design process after gathering feedback from dozens of major studios and hundreds of artists. Jim Fang Lee, an environment generalist TD at Double Negative, said about it, All these new features are really hitting the points that we have been longing for in terrain generation. But is it really that good? Since we already have amazing tools and third-party add-ons for creating landscapes and terrains like True Terrain in Blender and the powerful procedural tools of Houdini. And what makes this Gaia software stand out? Some 3D artists and studios think it is amazing, but is it really? Just so you know, Gaia is specifically designed for the creation and manipulation of realistic terrains. It is used in various industries, especially in movies and video games, different VFX projects, and for creating realistic and detailed landscapes in general. The most important thing we need to look at is this brand new Gaia Engine 2, which as they claim, will be significantly faster and light on memory consumption. This is especially important for this type of work, since the scenes and projects we are dealing with are large-scale environments in the first place. And since it is used by VFX Studios, you can only imagine how much details they will need and the incredible computing power required to make something like that look believable, especially on the big screen. So yeah, optimization and speed are very important. Some of the other things you will be able to take advantage of include fast simulation of thousands of tiny debris, this is not something you would think about, but in VFX productions, this is very important to make things look realistic. This in addition to improved snow simulation, which is often needed to cover mountains and different terrains. There is also gonna be rocks and large-scale rock simulation, which is particularly important and something you can benefit from a lot, since all terrains include rocks and stuff. There is also gonna be a new rock surface water preview, which looks very interesting. In addition, there is a new multi-scan rock generator and many surface generators that can help you add variety to your terrains. When it comes to erosion, the developers behind Gaia 2 claim to have created a better algorithm. But the thing is, erosion of Gaia 1 is still gonna be available alongside the new one. The highlight is gonna be speed, with a speed boost of up to 10 times compared to the existing algorithm, which sounds extremely good but we have to wait to see it for ourselves. So other than speed, the ability to use the old erosion and performance, Gaia 2 is promising new possibilities that were not possible in the current version. And in terms of terrain creation workflow, as I said in the beginning, the team behind Gaia 2 said that they took feedback from studios and artists and they took it seriously and they will make changes to the workflow. So in the next release, you will get primitives plus landscapes and surface workflow. In addition, using the new surface nodes will helpfully help apply medium and small details to terrains after you already created them in conjunction with Erosion 2. Most importantly, in Gaia 2, there will be new features like God Mode, Hybrid Builds, and Team Terrains. And I want to specifically talk about the God Mode. The developers claim that with God Mode, you can modify specific portions of large-scale environments or terrains and their surroundings will react to your changes. In addition, separate biomes and areas can be managed independently while sharing procedural characteristics. If this is not impressive, I don't know what is, because it sounds really good to me. So this is just a simple teaser to what is coming in the next couple of months, I mean in the next release of Q1 2024. On a side note, Gaia 2 is undergoing closed beta, so if you're interested in joining this beta, you can sign up in their website when the beta opens, and there will be limited seats that will be assigned on a first-come, first-serve basis. So if you are interested, I think this is gonna be a nice opportunity. So guys, if you're new, please like this video and subscribe to this channel to stay updated with news and videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.